住發言嘅係任建峰律師，佢除咗係一位資深嘅律師之外，仲係 Dennis 多年嘅友好。Next up is Mr. Kevin Yam, senior associate at Herbert Smith and also a long-time personal friend of Dennis. Hi there, my name is Kevin Yan. I'm a solicitor who is a member of the Law Society's Constitutional Affairs Committee. I'm not a member of any political party. It is a real honour for me to be given the opportunity to speak in support of Dennis Kwok's candidacy. I have known Dennis for nearly 10 years. He was a rising star solicitor at a large international legal practice and I was just a mere trainee at the firm at the time. Even back then, Dennis had a strong sense of justice and fairness, with aspirations to play a part in making Hong Kong a better place. This continued to be the case after he became a barrister and as he commenced his political career. And I'm happy to see that he is now taking his next step by running in this election. So I've been asked this question, so what do I look for in a legislative council representative for the legal sector? Now we're a service industry and on this I take guidance from the feedback I've heard from many clients over the years on how they choose a lawyer. So. The first thing you always hear from clients is that you've got to go horses for courses. You wouldn't choose a corporate M&A IPO lawyer to run a commercial litigation case. So what am I looking for here? In this election, I'm looking for a candidate who has a long, consistent, and fearless track record of working for and standing firm on values that matter to all of us like the rule of law, Hong Kong people ruling Hong Kong, justice and fairness. I'm looking for a candidate who will use his professional expertise to act in the interests of Hong Kong as a whole. And of course, I, I, I do like a candidate who understands the legal profession, but really, I don't need him to place a heavy emphasis on so-called interests of the profession. I mean, after all, you know, we already have the Law Society, we already have the Bar Association, and that's what they're there for. And we've already seen a number of previous Law Society presidents over the years in, on my end of the profession have done a great job as, shall we say, trade union advocates. <laughs> and to be honest, what's the interest of the profession anyway? I mean, the fact is that different parts of the profession often have conflicting interests on various policies which affect it. You know, big firms and small firms, local firms and international firms, and even between barristers and solicitors, on issues like professional indemnity insurance, on issues like qualification requirements for foreign educated lawyers and the like, there's just no consensus within the profession. And most so-called livelihood issues of the profession are like that. So on these issues, ultimately a candidate would still have to be guided by his beliefs and what's best for Hong Kong as a whole. Now on all of this, Dennis fits the bill. Now you've heard before that he started life uh, in an international law firm. He could have spent decades making millions and be very safe and be very flashy and play golf and the like <laughs> um, and wait until the twilight of his legal career before he entered politics. But no, he didn't do that. He gave up the safe option, pursued a career at the bar so that he could devote more time to fight for his beliefs at a critical juncture in Hong Kong's political, social and economic development. Further, Dennis spent significant time both as a solicitor and a barrister, meaning that he does know both sides of the profession anyway. So, that's a very important point for choosing a lawyer. Second point, 
clients, I've always heard clients say, you know, we choose the lawyer, we don't choose the firm. So, as far as I'm concerned, I support Dennis because of what he stands for and because of what, what I know he's capable of. To be honest, I don't really care which political party or which other group he belongs to because it's about the individual and not about the group that he or she might belong to. Now finally, you also hear a lot from clients who say, oh, I like a particular partner at a law firm, but really they don't have the depth of the bench. Um, I, don't, I, I have doubts about the lawyers that work for that particular partner. So in the political context, what that means is that we have to look at the supporters of a candidate. Now, in Dennis's case, we know that his supporters are all lawyers who believe strongly in defending Hong Kong's core values. And they'll advise him on this. And if necessary, if he were ever to try and backtrack from these positions, we would all put pressure on him. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. The choice for the profession in this election is absolutely clear. Do we want an energetic, forward-looking representative who will stand firm on matters of fundamental importance? Now, if that's what you want, then Dennis Kwok is your man, and thank you very much.